Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Have a little bit of a conundrum. I've decided to add more lighting and stuff to the Toyota Tacoma because I'm going to be adding probably a Prinsu roof rack. My whole point in doing that, well, one, I like the looks of it. It's the most popular one out there, so I thought, you know, it'd be kind of cool to try it out, see what it looks like, and experience it i guess both for you guys and for me if i'm being honest so i'm doing that too so that i can add lights to the front i want a light bar most likely i've also been thinking about putting pod lights across the front but the insert that uh, or the cutout that prinsu has looks to me like it calls for about yeah, maybe six or seven eight i don't know a, a number of pod lights and I just don't want that many. I don't need that many. And frankly, I think it's overkill and I don't like the look. If you have a need for it, well, I understand, but I don't. I just want something that's gonna give me light off the top when I want it. So, because of that, the conundrum is the switching or the auxiliary switch controls. Right now, I have the Trigger 4 Plus. And I've talked about this in other videos. I'll show you real quick. It's located right here, and I love this because it makes wiring easy. All the wiring is done right here under the cab. It has a wireless controller, which I have sitting in here right now. Conveniently placed so you guys can see it right there. And it allows me to control the accessories inside the truck. But the problem is I already have two of the ports, if you will, taken up. And that's because I have it hooked up to the grill lights across the front, and then I have the new light bar down there uh, in the new grill or bumper area, or bumper that I have. So if I add lights across the top, that obviously is gonna take up another. And then I want some lights on the sides and maybe a couple of lights in the back so that I can project lighting off of each side of the truck and they have a spot for that or spots for it on the Prince rack. I'm not sure if they have it for the back. I might have to rig something else up. And honestly, I'd either put that up low or put it down at the bumper area, something like that. But I'm gonna exceed the number of ports that I have to be able to hook everything up. Uh, if I add the lights across the top, or I should say when, it's not really an if, but when I add the lights across the top, and then when I add the side lights, I'm not even sure what you call those, camping lights, I don't know. For me, they're gonna be parking lot lights uh, or driveway lights. But once I add those up, I will max out the Trigger 4 wireless controller that I have down here. Now, what to get? And this is where I kind of need a little help from you guys. Hopefully people that have actually experienced it. I could go with a Trigger 6. They do have a 6 uh, accessory controller unit where you can hook 6 things up to it. Um, but my concern is how big is it going to be? I only have so much space and I do think I could fit it here. I mean even if it extends out a little bit more it's not really going to be interfering with anything off to the left here. So that's not a problem. But the controller itself gets bigger. It would have two more switches in it. So now I have a controller that's another probably two inches or so in length. Not a real big deal, but you start to run out of space inside the truck uh, to put something like that. I've struggled in the past as to where to actually mount this thing. Um, I have mounted it before up here on the little visor thing. I kind of had it stuck up here and it fits there well and it looks okay there. But the problem is without permanently mounting it, like drilling through this or maybe even double-sided tape, which will leave, you know, junk on the, the lid here, it doesn't stick. I've tried to use magnets before, but it's just too thick. It doesn't hold well. Um, down here... Uh, there's really no room either. I don't have any space over here. I had mounted it or tried to mount it a while back with double-sided tape and Velcro. I think it was on the side here or maybe it was probably down in this area. But again, the tape doesn't stick. The problem is that here where I'm at, it's just too hot. That tape 
becomes gummy, I guess, and this has enough weight to it, I suppose, where it just lets loose and falls down. Now, if I went an inch wider, you can see it, I say an inch because the switches themselves are about an inch or so in width, I'm gonna have an even longer piece to deal with. Now, what I've been doing is right down here where you see the Rob Motive badge, I've been putting it in here. I actually just put this piece back in. Uh, a subscriber to the channel actually sent me that a while back, and then I lost track of who it was. So if you're still watching out there, I am using the piece that you sent. I really do like it. I'm probably gonna change the RM to red. It was voodoo blue per the other truck. But I've just been throwing it down there. And you can see a uh, bigger one would fit. I mean, there is room to do that. But, you know, I really would like to have a, a permanent place to put it. So that's, that's the long story with the uh, trigger unit. I'm thinking of going to something else. There are other things out there. Switch Pro is one that comes to mind. And I know a lot of people use that. It looks like a lot more complicated install to me. Uh, and you still have to run wiring uh, to control the switch uh, from the cab in. That's not a big deal because you do it once and then you have a number of switches inside, obviously, that will control your accessory lighting. But you still have to run the wiring. I don't have that now with the Trigger 4 and I kind of like that. The other problem with that unit is, is the control panel itself for the lighting. It's a rather big unit. And looking at the truck once again, I, uh, I don't know where I would mount something like that. I think the only place I really have is probably up there, again, on the sunglasses holder thing. I could run wiring up here on the side and then across and then mount it up there somehow, but it, it would be a permanent fix. It's too bad there isn't some other solution. I think maybe that unit or a different one, you can actually put in your switch here. This is something I've added. It's a garage door controller, um, like a home link, if you will. So that I could take out and I could mount their unit here, but the problem is, is it's bigger. I think it's about yay big and yay long. So it really wouldn't look integrated there. And that's the other thing I'm going for when it comes to this kind of stuff. I like things that look OEM or stock. I don't really dig things that look like some kind of afterthought or don't really blend in with the rest of the truck. So that's kind of my conundrum right now. And again, I'm asking for your help. If you have a solution, something that you've used that can control, let's say, at least six lights and really not more than that. I mean, I, I suppose I could go with something like eight, but six is probably more than I'm ever gonna add once this part is done. Leave a comment, let me know, I'd be curious. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive Project Cars, all about right now the Mercedes-Benz, lots of mods and things over there. And Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget to click the subscribe button here, too. Stay safe out there. Bye.